before we will start, I have to give a high five. Hello everybody, hi and welcome in this episode and in this episode I will show you the car which I always forgetting about in my drifting stories in um, stories which contains starting of drifting and I simply forgetting about this car because I'm occurring it every day pretty much it's always somewhere next to me and you know when you're watching something every day constantly you simply treat it as it doesn't exist which is unusual but it does it does exist and it was the car in which i accomplished my first how to say it officially a circle in drifting and it's quite an unusual one it's this it's nissan as it's called in here pickup yeah it's a Nissan pickup. It has a code of uh, N22D or something like that. It has two and a half diesel engine liter. Two and a half liter diesel engine, turbocharged. So it has 130 horsepower, massive horsepower number and 300 Newton meters of torque, about approximately. It has uh, nothing special as you may imagine, but there is one thing which is quite good for drifting, which is limited slip differential, which is somewhere there. It's actually solid beam, solid axle. It has also a great tires for that because they are off-road-ish. So they doesn't grip at all in wet surface. Believe me, in a second gear, wet tarmac and the wheels are simply spinning. So that's a nice thing. That's always a nice thing when you don't have to catch kick to lose the grip. But, 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 uh, it occurs that on this surface, somehow, it doesn't want to do that. This surface is really, really grippy, even when it's wet. And speaking about wet, when the surface is wet, this car is likely going to be sideways. Will likely. And the funny thing is that, thanks to its, uh, I should say, which is yep. clearance you don't have to only go on the tarmac you can also go there in the grass just to see if it behaves better or worse uh, hard to tell we just need to try since it's wet but it stops raining actually as you can see on this patch wet patch let's observe wet patches yes that's always interesting it's not raining anymore we need to rush so the water won't evaporate and yeah let's try go sideways as I used to do in the past when I was only waiting. I was only waiting for the weather like that. So let's move to the past and see how does it feel today. Before we will start, I have to give a high five with my men and go. Inside of this fancy vehicle, we have exactly nothing. We don't have a radio. We have only clock, which should be working, but it doesn't. That doesn't matter. And we have aircon fancy. So we also have the, we can also choose between two and four wheel drive, like with the modern N5. So it's, it's a sport machine. And what else? We have some nice storage area and even nicer storage area. And that's it, two seater and some extra space for unexpected guests. Can only start it up. Oh, listen to that roar. Which revs. This machine was been through few experiences, few adventures, and I was I was slightly jumping it before and going sideways with it. So it's a bit squawky and uh, squeaky, I should say. It's a bit squeaky and a bit uh, a bit of everything simply it, it creates uh, a lot of different and uh, weird noises so that's something to expect but definitely we will see if we can achieve some sideways action today i have few obstacles actually because uh, somebody put a camping trailer there so it will be a bit harder to get through here sideways but but we'll see what we can squeeze out out of it. 
safety belts first. Of course, safety. It's getting a bit dry. We could have a bit more water, but we have what we have. Where we should start, actually? And, oh, we can start with, with the grass a bit. Yes, grass will help. Good old Tamara. Oh, only one wheel action. That's unusual. Second year. That was too late. We should try those, this grass, actually, a bit. Oh, the hard wheels and the speed is Oh, nice, too. seat but I did it somehow <laughs> and was it still fun uh, after like all those like 11 years of drifting after drifting that for a first time and I have to say it was probably a bit less it was more <laughs> fighting uh, than drifting but still it was a great fun because drifting is always a good way of spending your time and tires oh my god I dig a hole in here that's a hole <laughs> sorry, tra sorry, grass. I'm sorry, grass. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. <sighs> Till the next one. One more. <laughs> 